Okay, I, I saw the problem on saxophone, and I've run into this problem on other instruments that I played as well. But I, I had a real strain in my hand um, from the flexors, and uh, uh, I, and it felt like it was coming from the fourth finger. And I thought, well, maybe I'm, I'm getting too straight of a fourth finger. I always like to try to keep a little curve to it, because you have to use that on the saxophone down there with a reach and press pretty hard. So, but I noticed something else that was happening. And what was happening was when I put my third finger down, this thing would jam way back like that. I mean, I can't even hardly do it anymore. It would jam way back like that. And that's what was hurting. It was a reflex action from this. When I flex the third, first, second, and third finger, the fourth finger would jam way back. And the way I solved the problem was I took these two fingers and I pushed them into my thumb like this, okay? I imitating pressing, depressing them, just kind of gently like that, like I depress keys, okay? While those are flexed into my thumb, uh, I would gently hold on to this fourth finger here. And then, uh, you know, like this, I, I, first of all, I try to get it kind of relaxed while these, are depre uh, depre these two are depressing. And then I'd slowly move this third finger like this. Not straining or anything, but just a little bit like that. Now, when I first started doing this thing, it would jump like crazy. But I could feel it begin to jump, and I could learn to control it. And boy, I'll tell you, in a day or so, I go in there, and my strain is all gone. See? Because I could tell. Well, the re I think the key to a lot of these, these feedback-type uh, exercises is that you can feel the instant that this starts to kick, and therefore you can learn to control it like that. And this way it would look like this, we're holding it gently and moving, see? And, it, and it, was, it still wants to kick a little, but not much. And it doesn't do it on the sex.